Hey, we're building a whitewater raft and outpost kit today on my N-Scale Model Railroad. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. Hey, welcome to the channel. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to my video on the construction and reveal of my whitewater rafting outpost. This is the new Fenris rafting outpost, and if you're not familiar with the name New Fenris, this is my friend Wild Bill of New Fenris Railroad. Wild Bill was my first sub, if I'm not mistaken, and if he wasn't my first sub, he was definitely the first person to leave a comment on the video. I think both, though. And so I had several friends follow closely behind, but Wild Bill was the first one. And I reached out to him. We've been talking a little bit, and um, I know that one of his hobbies is kayaking. He's definitely into kayaking. And I have South Boulder Creek down there, so I decided to build a whitewater rafting outpost. His hobby gave me a great idea for a model. So I built the new Fenris Rafting Outpost. And it's a cool little building. I like the way it looks myself. And let's look at it for a minute. On size, we're looking at a footprint of 91 millimeters in length. In width, excuse me. And 121 in length or vice versa. Um, 91, we're looking at nearly... A little over three inches and 121 we're looking at a little under or right at five inches with a height of about two and a half inches all right at 66 millimeters all right the building is it's got a, a dual deck okay i have posts for these that i don't have in there these are overinflated a little bit because they've got to be a millimeter bigger than the actual post when I make the hole. Um, these stairs, I actually like them, but I don't know that they're going to end up being functional where I'm putting the model. And you'll see that in just a minute. I want to flash back over here to the deck so you can see everything laid out really quickly before we get to the model pieces and the beginning of the construction, which is coming right up. So hang in there, everybody. This is the base and most of the beams, I printed a lot of beams because I'm gonna need different sizes. Um, if I were to make one of these kits for you, you could let me know what sizes you need for the beams. Because for example, mine's going to be in a place that's, that's rocky next to the river. So I'm gonna need different size beams in different places to make my model level. And so what I did is I just laid this all out on the deck. We've got five doors. We've got your roof, the base, the stairs, and the second deck right here. And so I printed that just like that. Here is your little bitty beams that go in these and your larger beams that fit in these for the base. These are going to serve as uh, the guardrails. All right. So what I'll do is I'll take these in here and I'll lay brown thread across the top of them uh, to make it look like a guardrail up there on that second deck, second level. And we'll flash over to the walls and see what I do is I put piece numbers on each piece. And then I put the matching number on the base where it goes, and it makes the instructions real simple. And here are the other beams. As I said, I've got two of uh, every size millimeter beam from 20 up to 70. And that's because I'm going to have an uneven ba uh, bottom to make. So I'm doing this to make my model level. And here are all the walls on the deck. This is an 8-inch deck to give you some perspective. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of Tinkercad here and I'm going to take you over to the actual printed pieces themselves. None of the model has been assembled at all yet, so I'm going to show you it totally broken down. Then I'll put you in time lapse. I'm going to show you painting the frames, assembling the model, and then I'll show you me placing it, leveling it down where it goes, hooking up the lights, 
and shooting the video out to you, everybody. I want to thank y'all for watching, and we're going to get to the build at, right now. All right, so here we have a look at the model printed. <clears throat> here is the base with the holes for the beams. All my different size beams. Now, this would be the standard size that would go with the stairs. But again, I'm going to have a very unusual area that I'm going to show you in just a second. All right, you got nine walls. You've got a base, a second deck. You've got these teeny tiny beams, and we're going to lay the brown thread eventually across them. You've got your roof. And what will happen is once I'm done assembling the model, I will determine if I need to create a roof insert, which I'll probably will for the roof. I like to have an insert on the roof because it kind of makes the lid snap on. Definitely helps keep light in. <clears throat> I do also bevel the edges. All right. So sometimes we have multiple different angles of beveled edges even depending upon a different level all right so i do that to make a good fit but i also have the option and sometimes make inserts on the joints and the roof to prevent any light bleed but the beveled edges for the most part usually prevent all that where i don't always have to all right now i'm going to take you over to the model and this is a mock-up version of everything right here and so just to show you approximately where that guy is going to sit on my layout all right i'm gonna put you on time lapse in just a second so i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do verbally before i throw you into the time lapse warp and come back to you a little bit later let me let you know how i'm going to do it first things first i'm going to put the tiny beams into the upper deck then I'm going to match number one and number seven here on the corners, and I'm going to put them together. I'm going to follow that with two, three, four, five, six. Seven's already attached to one. Then I'm going to put the upper deck on, and then I'm going to come in with eight and nine. Then I'll set the roof in. At some point, I won't glue the roof in because I'll be dropping a light in. And then once it's assembled and glued everywhere except the roof, we'll work on the beam placement to make sure the model's level down there on South Boulder Creek. Getting ready to put you on time lapse and assemble the model.
right, everybody, just about done. I do need to make a roof insert, and I've got to fit the pylons at the bottom for... I'm gonna get a better view for this. But I wanted to show you here, here. Hey, this is Brian, and I want to thank you for watching the kit build with me today. The dedication to my good friend Wild Bill and New Fenris Railroad. And if you yourself are interested in getting a copy of this kit or as a gift for a friend, I want to encourage you to email me at ironhorsehobbiessmk at gmail.com. That's ironhorsehobbiessmk at gmail.com. Right now, we have several kits designed and ready to print, such as a warehouse, we got a ski lodge, we got a diner, a bar and grill, we got a whitewater raft and outpost. I can also build kits based off of pictures. So if you yourself have a structure that you want on your model railroad that you can't find a kit for, I want to encourage you to send me a picture of it. Let's see if we can get together and build it for you. This is Ryan with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western. I'm glad you watched the video with me today. If you're not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to click the bell icon. And if you're willing to, I want you to share this video with all your modeling friends you think might enjoy it. And I'm very happy you landed on the channel, and I hope you'll stick around. I got other videos on how I built the ski lodge, how I built the coal mine. You can look at those below. There's playlists there. Also got plenty of videos with trains running and layout tours and all that kind of stuff. So check that out down there. Thank you.